you know, it doesn't feel like much time has passed since I uploaded the Chicken Little video that we've already got Mama Odie. Oh, wait, what? Oh, is that? Oh, that's that just takes you to the prize wall. Oh, it started already? Oh, oh, I didn't, I didn't realize. Now, she was actually, was she out yesterday? I don't think so. I think, well, I saw her profile or stuff, something, but I couldn't access her. But now, now we can. Oh, if I can just look here, because usually they hide... Because the first thing you see is deals and it's all money stuff, but then they hide all the free stuff, that possible free gifts and whatnot in here. And I guarantee I've missed out on a few uh, free resources. Not a big deal, as you know, free resources are never like too extreme. Is this, this is too loud, wow. They're never like high quantities. What am I trying to say? I, I don't even know. Actually, I will say this. They did buff the amount of uh, hero chips you can get. Like, it's now like 40 or 50, except they did raise the price, so I'm a bit, a bit more skeptical. I mean, I, I, as you can see, I do have a lot of diamonds, but Joy, I do, I, I'm, I'm good on Joy chips. I don't need that much. But something like Doofus Smurts or uh, Ida, I will get. But right now, we're looking at Mama Odie. Not bad for a 197-year-old blind lady. <laughs> I gotta embrace my inner... The inner Toby voice I do for one of my other shows. <laughs> no, she doesn't sound anything like that. A uh, 197-year-old blind voodoo priestess. That is a mouthful of a description. Often referred as the vo referred as the voodoo queen of the bayou. She has no shortage of spring in her step and misses nothing with her sight. Eh. She emanates great power, but does not use it to grant wishes. Yep, I, I remember. This is like, um, it's been ages since I saw Princess and the Frog, but I still remember the story and the events very well, including Mama Odie's uh, role in the movie, which is just like to tell the others uh, the difference between want and need. Now, let's see what your abilities are, because I actually, ever since Patch Notes, they started, like, introducing more heroes. I don't really read the skill sets because honestly I just tend to forget them immediately and it's it's just more genuine when I read them blind here for the first time oh there's a look at one of her animations pocket gold passive mama Odie's basic attacks alternates between throwing good candy and bad candy bad candy targets the enemy with the most energy dealing normal damage and removing 150 energy Good Candy heals the ally with the lowest percent HP for a certain amount while also giving energy. Okay, so uh, Bad Candy, just uh, damage and drain. Good Candy, the opposite. Active, Mama Odie raises her arms and shoots three bursts of gold coins from her sleeves, targeting the enemy with the most energy. The first burst deals normal damage and removes pretty much all of your energy from the target. From, from the target, yeah. The second burst deals fantastic damage and applies limit for 5 seconds. And the final third burst deals normal damage and increases damage taken by 50% for 8 seconds. Additionally, if the targeted enemy is KO'd immediately or within the next 5 seconds, Mama Odie heals her allies for a certain amount and increases their armor by a certain amount and reality by a different amount for some reason. Here we go again. This effect can only happen once every five seconds. Oh my gosh, it's like every... I, I'm, I'm, I'm sensing a pattern here. Where it's like, the first character comes out, like, for each month. Chicken Little came out first, he was okay. And now we're getting this character, who has a mouth, just a complete mess of text. And uh, is the third character gonna be the hobble together one? I am hoping that's not the case. Either way, I think I think that's it. Uh, she, she throws... Three gold coins. Yes, that's... Oh, bursts of gold coins. They should have a thing where uh, if Scrooge McDuck is in the arena, then he just takes all the gold coins without any of the bad effects. <laughs> that would be... That's fun because Scrooge, gold, clubbing. Mama Odie waves her club, encouraging her allies to dig deeper. Dig a little deeper. Increasing their armor by a certain amount and reality by a certain amount for 12 seconds. At least here, it's justified because the difference... It, there is a different number for each and it does look like it's affected like one's affected by skill power one's affected by damage that sort of thing i just uh i don't know why it's like that but at least there's is justified for a dis for different uh 
putting them differently. During this time, any enemy that attempts to damage Mama Odie's allies has their attack and movement speed reduced by 80% for 5 seconds. How weird is it that a character has a club and doesn't use it as a melee attack? That's never been done before. I'm not, I'm not complaining. That's actually a good thing. I like that. She just waves a club. A good club for once. Surprise snake. Mama Odie calls in Juju. Is it Juju? Juju? Juju! Juju, Juju, Juju! At the start of each wave, dealing normal damage and studying all enemies for five seconds. After the stun fades, this... It, the stun fades is cleansed or blocked, enemies become scared and studied for 7 seconds. Scared and studied. Wow. So then, this is another character you want paired with. Baymax or Korra or anyone who just just deals damage at the start of each wave. Hank. Hank and Dory. There we go. Questionable candy. Oh, there's your victory animation. When Mama Odie applies a debuff to an enemy, she heals herself and all allies for a certain amount. If Mama Odie heals an ally past their max HP, they have their normal... Oh, I thought that was... That, that's just the saws next door. They have their normal and fantastic crit increased by 100 for 5 seconds. And let's see what your red skill does. Mama Odie's good candy now applies... <sighs> H-O-T? What does that stand for? Heal over time! Okay. For uh, healing for a certain amount for 5 seconds. Additionally, Bad Candy also charms the targeted enemy for 4 seconds. That's a... Uh, considering that's our basic attack, hmm. Pocket Gold active... Pocket Gold active now... What? Okay, no, the active portion of Pocket Gold now has additional effects for each hit. The first burst also removes all buffs from the target. The second burst applies three stacks of decay. The third burst now also charms the targeted, the target for eight seconds, and their basic attacks deal bonus normal damage while charmed. Mama, okay, hang on. If a character can, like Jack, let's say she charmed Jack, and he starts dealing, does that mean he will deal normal damage on top of his fantastic damage? So to consider, Mama Odie now instantly casts Surprise Snake whenever an ally or enemy is KO'd. This effect can only trigger one. Okay, there is a, there's a cooldown for that. I was scared because if, if you just that could cause a chain reaction. I do like how they consider that by adding like five second thing. And uh, what's next? Next is okay. L I, N two two. Okay, twenty two. Okay, that's obviously from Soul, but you L I. Okay, who's that? Oh, Lilo, of course. It's Lilo. Now, okay, now what does Lilo do? I, I should have... Wait, hold on. I should have guessed. Of course, that's Lilo's art right there. <laughs> she makes that at the start of the movie. My friends need to be punished. Enemies that attempt to damage Mama Odie's allies while clubbing is active have their basic damage and skill power reduced by 10% for 10 seconds. And the other one, Mama Odie's good candy, now removes two debuffs from her ally. Additionally, Mama Odie throws one extra bad candy to a random enemy every six bad candy she throws. I'm not gonna lie, that one sounds a lot better, but I think I'm more curious about this story because voodoo. Now, Armor Blight, Precision, Benevolence, Cloaking Tactic, uh, clo no, Cloaking Attacks. Alluring Loyalty, Devious Plot, and the Battle Badge, and the Subclass, and that's everything. Any additional animations I need to look at here? Oh, yep, yeah, that's the coin toss. No, oh, oh, sorry, um, can we get her right now? I don't think so. They changed up the quests a bit, so you have to do a lot, a bit more to actually unlock her. Let's see. Let's do, like, I don't know, like, okay, you're not in the shop. You are. And then just a few, like, I don't know, one, two, three, four, later, five. And is that, oh yeah, finally, I can look at the black market. This, dis oh, unfortunately, the black market still has the same pitiful amount of character chips that, uh, unlike the, because as you can see, the market's giving me like 50 chips, and it seems like it's a lot more worth than the black market right now. And still, at least it's still cheap, so maybe there's that. And in the Mega Mart, we're just grabbing whatever I think deem useful. Including more doof chips. Huzzah! 
Now, let us test uh, Mama Odie in battle. First, let's just see her just like, I don't know, normally. There's the one of the previous. No, no, all of you get out. Get out. Mama Odie, let's go. You just waltz in and you swing that club. Oh, there's the snicky. Oh, he didn't eat. He, did, he just, the snake just popped in from the sky. Okay. There's your little victory. Tap your toes. Do a little pose. Now, let's see your defeat animation. Thank you, CV Agent P, for uh, having me. At, he, he made this team for Chicken Little, but uh, I had already done the video at that point. So, let's just use it for Mama Odie and see what happens when she loses. Does she have a better lose animation, or is it just as bland and boring as everyone else's? Okay, it's... It's still a shock, but at least she... It's not a... Oh, it's more of a dang nabbit, <laughs> like a facepalm. So it's not the same. It's different. Now, what, what am I... What am I missing? I was going to say... Oh, yeah. Last video, I was talking about defeat animations, and someone did bring up a good point that some of the best defeat animations are Woody and Jesse, and I completely forgot that Jesse... I don't know why I forgot. Jesse's a character I use quite often. Why are you not hearted? Because Jesse's lose animation is like, very, just ties into um, the Toy Story lore, if I can just bring her out. Woody as well, but I'm going to use Jesse because I have no idea where Woody is right now. Let's see, can Jesse actually... I don't think she can. Oh yeah, there she goes! Turns, go, she goes limp, she goes doll. It's great. I still, I still love the Darkwing uh, lose animation because he still stumbles and falls. It's just so characteristic. Now let's actually try and win this. Darkwing, come here. Actually, let's get both ducks in here. Let's get all the ducks in here. Even though Perry's not a duck, he's a platypus. Yep, everyone waltz in. Let's just see some, some, just see some battles and see. Well, I'm gonna lose this. I imagine this team is a lot stronger. Yeah, instantly. See, look at Darkwing go. That's such a great lose animation. Okay, but now seriously, we gotta try and beat this guy, <laughs> which I, I doubt we can. But you know, gonna try. Okay, Zeus, Ariel. Uh, Shank and she go. I still doubt we can. I, I someone is killing my team instantly, and I'm pretty sure it's like, well, oh no, no, we're, we're last up, uh, and we're dead again. Who's doing that? Oh well, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, that's enough to test out Mama Odie. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you. Uh, who's the next character? Was it Ratcliffe? Is that his name? Uh, the, the main villain of the Great Mouse Detective. That's him. Okay, anyway, see you next time, guys. Goodbye. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching the video from beginning to end. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel and join the Zane Reborn community. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.